Alright, let's play some fucking cube. Love me some strategy games. Make your brain think. Awesome game, by the way. Um, tried playing the first one. Didn't care for it all that much. TBH. But Cube's fucking... Cube 2, this game's fun. It's got a good story. All that shiznit. This game is bad ad ass. Oxygen systems effective. Loading user interface. Hey Mel, uh, let me know if you're still good for our call tonight. Can't wait to hear about what you've uncovered today. <laughs> Poppy says hi. Speak tonight. Love you. <laughs> Anyone help me? Please. Got some dystopian shit going on here, boys and girls. Oi there. What the hell, bruv? Dead back to where you're supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. Cross, I, I'm, I'm picking up your signal. I repeat, I am reading you clearly. Please, I, I, I don't know what's happened, but I need help. Try and remain calm. Your systems are slightly damaged. I can't identify what your rank was either. Looks like you're suffering from cryogenic-induced amnesia. What? what? What are you talking about? You must have been part of Vitruvius, tasked with destroying the cube. Damn. The escape pods must have brought us both back to the origin planet. That life suit you're wearing, you can manipulate the cubic structures with it. We used the same design to destroy an extraterrestrial object that was on a collision course with Earth. You may not remember, but if you listen to me and do as I say, we may actually make it back home. Do you understand me? I... I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Just tell me what I need to do. Okay. I've detected a human distress beacon coming from the peak of the structure you're in. Your signal is weak because of this blasted sandstorm. I can't lock onto you. That beacon is above the storm. If you can just make it there, you should be clear. If you rendezvous with any other survivors, I should be able to use my teleporter to extract us all and get home. Right. Okay. I think I can do that.
So now you guys know the, uh, the general story. Stranded on an alien planet. Use the gloves you are wearing to change the structure around you. You should have access to the launch pad function, co-colored blue. Try placing one on any white cubes that have a frame using your left glove, then stand on it. Jesus! I wasn't expecting that. You better get used to it. It may just save your life in here. Listen, I'm losing signal because of the storm. Keep climbing upwards. Contact me if you find anything strange. Hello? Can you hear me? God, what have I got myself into? Just like that. Well, oh, that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? There we are. Emma, I've... I found something. Oh, still no signal. It's the wrong one then, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well then. The uh, middle. There we are. Yes. Yes, yes. Totally good. And away we go. Also, the graphics are pretty fucking cool. I do say so myself. Reading you loud and clear. How are you doing? Making progress, I think. Good. Listen, I wanted to ask, what do you remember before waking up? I don't. Not really. I think I was heading towards a job, a dig site in Scotland. I was in a helicopter with my team. And you don't remember what happened? No, I don't. Are you interrogating me, Emma? Because it sure as hell feels like it. Emma? Oh, God damn it, this stupid thing. I best continue. Hmm. Oh, 
Yes. Straightforward so far, yeah, but let me tell you, these puzzles get out of hand quick. Like, this shit gets so intricate. Another type. Interesting. It's like the structure itself can duplicate and grow. We'll see how this goes. Nope. Ah, uh, nope. Come on then. Oh, bully! Figured that one out. First try. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now we're making some progress. Into the great unknown we go. I 
don't believe that there's anything hidden. But who knows, they could have changed things. It's been quite a while since I played. Emma, can you read me? I'm reading you. Are you alright? I've come across an exterior space. The storm has cleared up and, well, there's life here. There's water and plants. That's unexpected. This doesn't look accidental either. The structure of the space, the organization of it, it looks purposeful. It reminds me of my husband. <laughs> In what way? Oh, he, um, he works with plants. You should move on, Millie, before another storm comes. Agreed. Speak soon. So what do you guys think so far? Beautiful graphics, in my opinion. I know it's mostly just like shaders and reflectors, but still. Trust me, the first game did not look like this. The first game was just like... OG Minecraft bland and blank. Level up. Detach function. Code colored green enabled. Recommended action. Place green cube on white panel. Incredible. It wasn't so hard, was it? Hmm, this one's gonna be a bit dodgy. that mean I'm nearly at the top? Not quite. These structures, all paths should lead to a central core. If you get there, we can figure out the best way to get you to the peak. How do you know all of this? We trained for a long time, Millie. So what do you think these structures are? Well, we know they have internal machinations and seem to perform tasks with no need for external input. A cybernetic system of sorts, reacting and adapting. The gloves were built to change that, or at least divert its functions temporarily. But what's their purpose? All I know is that we had to stop that vessel from colliding with Earth. The structure you're in? God knows what they're used for. Anyway, let's focus on finding that beacon as soon as possible. Hmm. Ah, yes. Okay, okay, okay. You fucking what, mate?
Okay, what am I trying to do here? I'm missing something. seem to get it to that height. Oh, well, fucking. Holy. I swear I tried that earlier. Swear in me, mom. Yeah, that doesn't give off like horrible vibes. Please take me. Take me. My heart beats. But I want it to beat for you. I want to become, become one. She said we would become one. Don't leave me on my own. Not without her. Emma. What? What is it? I I think it's human or or was. Now I don't know what it is. A statue. And it was saying something. No, not saying. A radio transmission of sorts. I don't know, this is messed up. Millie, whatever it was, it just means we need to find the location of that signal as soon as possible. Okay? Then we can find a place to rendezvous. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry, it just... I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. 
Let's just keep going, okay? Ugh. Fucking stomach acid. It puts the lotion in the basket. Or it gets the hose. Emma, I've emerged into a large chamber. Can you tell me how far I am from the beacon? Your altitude shows that you're about halfway there. There's a strange machine in here. I'm going to investigate it, see if it can help me find my way around this place. I can't decipher this, Emma. The language is like nothing I've ever seen. There are some things I can make out in illustration. Like, it seems to be a physical transportation machine. An elevator or monorail that ascends. It's hard to understand. It's connected to the three doorways by these large cables. I wonder if it's something that can be powered, taking us towards the beacon. no idea but whatever it was it seems to have turned this machine on and it's opened one of the doors what are you going to do i'm going to follow this cable and find out what this machine does be careful millie yeah be careful millie wouldn't want anything bad happening Emma, can you read me? I can. The signal's a lot better now. Good. I found what these cables are connected to. It looks like a power reactor. Do you think you can power it? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe for sure, but it certainly does something. There are four doorways connected to it via cables. One of them seems accessible. The door behind me is also locked, so it doesn't seem like I have much choice. Okay. Follow the cable through the open door see if there's a power source connected to it or a way to open these other rooms. Got it. Y'all can see where this is going. Each cable back in that large room has a door. Each door has four doorways. Four times three, twelve. We have to solve three sections for a total of twelve puzzles. It looks like these cables lead through to more rooms. I'm gonna follow them. See if they connect to anything that can help power that central machine. Good idea. Let me know if you find anything useful. Oh, she'll let you know, all right. I don't think that red thing was necessary. I think it would have done it on its own. Where's the arrow? Yeah.
So far it's been pretty straightforward. Difficulty is increasing a good bit. Now this is where things get potentially very complicated. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Yeah. Seen this technology before. I wonder what it does. It's a fan. Put your dick in it. Oh, I need the blue one. There we go. Nothing about this looks fun. Ah, I see. Yeah. That's called a windbreak. Oh fuck. Um Oh, okay, yeah. What in the fuck? Yes. Really?
There we go. So that does that. What's the rest of this supposed to do, though? There's no switch over there. I think I'm retarded. Can't figure this out. That's not it. That just opens the door. Not sure how to. I don't know. This turns on the fan. But I am not sure how to. Ah! Gotcha! And there's the first one. Emma, that cable is connected to a terminal. It seems to have sent some form of energy back to that reactor and unlocked the other doors in this room. I'm going to check it out. Out and follow the other cables attached to the reactor. Let's see what's behind these doors. Maybe you're onto something here, Millie. Report on any changes. Yes. Yes, yes. Not sure what to do about save points. Maybe it's a checkpoint system. Um, either way, thanks for tuning into episode one of Cube Two. Be sure to check out some of the other content on the channel. We will be trying to pump as much of it out as possible in these next few coming days. Check us out on Twitch. Uh, same name, the Ultra Nerds. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, yada, yada, yada. And as always, check out the creators and the game itself if you can handle it. If it looks fun to you, please go and give it a purchase. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.